Warning: This show contains nicotine. Nicotine is addictive substance. If you watch Flat Cap Fridays, does that mean you use nicotine? I really do not know. But this show contains nicotine, so be careful.
Nicotine is for adults 18 years old or over. Flat Cap Fridays is not responsible for your nicotine addiction. Now it's time for the show to start. Once I have done a wee wee. Okay, so you might have always wondered why it's a what Chinese woman with the voice there. Honestly, it's the only free one on the website. On the website I use to get that voice, the American, the English, the, the female English, the male English, they had to pay for them, and I'm a tight ass, so I chose the free one. All right. <laughs> anyway, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Flat Caps Fridays, the last show, the lastest show, um, which is very sad, but it's not. I I want you I want you to all think of it as like um, not a goodbye. It's lovely to see you in, by the way. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it coming in. Not a goodbye. I just feel like it's time for a big change. Don't be sad, Jackie. Don't be sad. It's time. It's not, not, I, the saying like it's time to move on. Yes, in a way, but it's not like goodbye forever. For example, for example. I don't know. It's not goodbye forever. It really, really isn't. I'm not disappearing from the scene. I love vaping, but we're going to talk about all that a bit later. Um, I really appreciate you hanging around. Lots of stuff to talk about. I'd love to chat to you guys, uh, talk about things, um, what my plans are for the future, uh, reasons why I've kind of come to this decision to stop reviewing completely and to stop this show. Talk about Discord and things like that. What's going to happen with that or what I think should happen. I'm still not sure. The flat cave, which is everything. Just discuss everything. As always, I always run things past you guys and we really talk about it. And I always love your um, I always love your uh, comments, your thoughts, your opinions. I always take it on board. I'm not stubborn. Because <laughs> um, at the end of the day, I'm still a vapor. I still love vaping and everything to do with vaping and everything I've done to do with vaping. So... I'm still going to be about. I'm really looking forward to just kind of like being, being a vapor again, which is cool. And we're going to get into all that, of course. First of all, as always, because we're going to do as many bumpers as we can. Even though I really haven't got many things planned, like there ain't much news. I haven't got any tech to show you. We just—it's just a waffle show, I'm afraid. It's just a waffle show with me waffling on for as long as possible. But I really appreciate if you can hang around for as long as you can. I understand it's Friday evening, but yeah, it'd be really cool. Nonetheless, as important as ever, it's time for some safeties first. So the first thing we do on Flat Cup Fridays is safety everybody in chat. Safe everybody, have a wonderful show. Do the FCV safe. Do the FCV safe. FCV safe. Stolen from Faxi. It's the Faxi safe, all right? We all know that, don't we? It's all the wonderful Faxes. Um, well, let's do some participants. Who's participating? Uh, Andy Wilkinson. Thank you for the message, Andy Wilkinson. Lovely seeing chat. Thank you, mate. Andy Wilkinson, legend. Thank you, mate. Arif, Mr. Arif. Thank you, mate, for everything. You're an absolute star. Ben M, another wonderful star in chat. Thank you, Ben. Really appreciate your safety. It's not a safe this week. It's thank yous. Billy Lee, an uh, epic supporter of as many channels and in YouTubers and casters as possible. Really appreciate your support, Billy Lee. Craig Brown, another great supporter. Dion78. I remember Dion78 from literally five years ago supporting channels and out there and uh, being in there in the vape YouTube community. So, Dion78, you are well loved, mate. Faxi, the double safe for Faxi. Faxi, you're a star, mate. Absolute superstar. Gemma Goodchips in the house. Please, some hearts for Mrs. Flatcap. The wonderful Mrs. Flatcap is here with us this evening. Hack400. Hack, hack is. Don't let his silly little picture fool you. Hack's a clever guy. Mm. Hedgy. Hedgy is a superstar as well. Hedgy has got, I think, arguably the best Atty Stack collection I've seen. So, yeah. Thank you for that, Hedgy. Um, fantastic. Oh, actually, Hedgy. Um, oh, we'll, I'll message you. We'll talk, we'll talk Hedgy, because I had a, a problem with something and i made you another one and i was going to send you the problemed one but I, it's a long story jackie it's me jackie another superstar in the vape scene how you doing jackie thank you for joining me safe jane dool jane how you doing jane sorry i always do jane dool how you doing jane lovely jane from sorry to such safe trio. i can't speak again legio x and lizio x about 
I've only done like two minutes and I can't talk. Lizzie and Chris, absolute stars. Thank you for everything. Um, yeah, safe to you guys as well. Mark H, another amazing support of the channel for years and years and years. Thank you, Mark H, for absolutely everything. You're just a brilliant guy. Just a, just a lovely guy. I love it. That, that is the signature Mark H move with a mech in his mouth. Mark Hawes, another superstar in the vape scene. Um, Mark Hawes is very good with Facebook, posting things up, little videos have been really good over, over the last few years. Thank you, Mark, for everything. Really appreciate it. Martin Saunders, all of you, all of you, all of you are just superstars. Martin Saunders, Martin has always made me laugh with his little funny comments every now and then. Just, he sneaks up every now and then with just a little crafty comment. And I always get it. I'm like, Martin's being funny. Metal Vape, Thomas is a old school vape geek. And I don't mean any disrespect by that, Metal Vape. You're a superstar. Nicky Maynard, another wonderful sport of the channel. A really nice guy. I've met Nicky at a couple of Vape Expos. Superstar. Sean, I'm doing this for all of you now. Apart from if I don't recognise your name. Sean. Sean's, if you've met Sean, if you haven't met Sean, should I say, at a Vape Expo. I, if I'm at Expo, which I probably hope to be at Expo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to Sean. Sean is the nicest guy in the world. He is. He really, really is. Sean's a really lovely guy. So, yeah. I think I met him... I might have met Sean, like... Was it 2019, Sean? Or was it, like, 2021? I don't remember, but... Sean was one of the first people... Um, probably Mark H was the first, but Sean was one of the first people to come up to me at Vapex and be like, really love your videos. And at the time, I was quite a, a smaller channel in the UK vape scene, so... I always remember that. It was always a, always a cool moment. SG, how you doing, SG? SG, another superstar. Stuart Valentine. Stuart Valentine, my superstar in Australia. Thank you, Stuart, for absolutely everything. All the years of support. It has meant a great, great deal to me. I uh, really appreciate it. Safe sub, I mean, if you just retro vapes, the longest name in vaping. How you doing, Shreky? Shrek. Shrek's taken a lot of shit over the years from people. And it's not fair. Because Shrek has been, over the years, nothing but a decent bloke to me. He's he's helpful. He knows more than you anyone could possibly imagine about vaping from every era. Um, he's knowledgeable. Uh, yeah, he does ramble on a bit sometimes, but that's Shrek. <laughs> but he knows this. He genuinely knows his stuff. Real nice guy. You can't go wrong with a bit of Shreky boo. And I feel it's unfair the way you've been treated in the past, mate, to be honest. Because I've had, I've had nothing but nice conversation with you over the years i know sometimes you have to wait five days for a reply but you know i appreciate you shrek you're a good man elena vape show how you doing mick thank you mick another superstar in the vape scene vapor bunny 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 is a star as well bunny's been in this scene for a lot much longer than i have uh and probably a lot of us have and bunny has always supported everyone bunny we all love you you're a superstar thank you for everything over the years even from like year one when i was expo you kind of you were like there saying hello and introducing me to people and you're just an absolute superstar and pasty as well pasty wonderful as well and zombie pandy i only met a zombie a few months ago he's a cool dude as well cicero's in cicero how you doing cicero another superstar in america love you mate i think that's everyone if i've missed you of course i'm gonna say hello and tell everyone about you <laughs> oh dear i'm sorry i missed all the comments then because i was you know doing stuff i was reading the participants but no it's it's cool it's cool we, we are going to get into kind of like i don't know the whole oh the baileys from bunny yeah i yeah i did get some of that ben that's deadly i will talk a little bit about the channel and what my perspective and what i'm where, where i'm kind of going with things and why why kind of um i finally decided to shut it down I think some of you might have thought it was coming after, you know, like November, December, when I kind of decided, oh, I'm just going to slow down, just do the, the lives. And I've kind of like gone downhill. I think it's probably because um, I, did, I don't want to give it up. I said I don't want to give it up. I didn't want to give it up. I still don't really want to stop doing all this. But there's just so many other things to it because i just still love doing this but i just I haven't done it enough and uh, yeah so yeah i, I kind of feel bad i do feel bad but I, I there's a positive future ahead i think yeah no there's no boring montages uh i'm not going to sit here talking about the history of the channel uh for too long <laughs> i haven't done any long boring videos that are like praising myself um but you know it's been a lot it's been five years of of madness. Justin Banks, another star. How you doing, Justin? Lovely to see you, mate. Thank you for joining us. Um, y y it's been a cool five years. But before we do cool five years and all that kind of stuff, uh, I haven't got any liquid testing. I won't get teary-eyed. Aiden M, how you doing, Aiden? Nice to see you, mate. I'm not going to get teary-eyed. I, I have no tissues either. Um, we're going to do... What am I vaping on? 
I made a rule actually that you. I said I'd never. The only time you knew I would, my channel would end is when I do a review of Code Red. Five races. Yeah, let's do five races. Uh, I've decided I'm not going to do a Code Red review. I have honestly got some reviews I need to do. There's a couple of e-liquid reviews. I need to do a special video for Legio X. I will do these in the next week or so. Um, uh, there's reasons, okay? But tonight I am on Code Red. I'm on Code Red. I've got it in a, in a, in a, on the top side, in a profile, old school, flat happy style here. But also, just for a bit of fun, I've got the Vupu Vinci SE, which, this thing's, this pod's stupid. You, it's, it's just, look, I mean, you, you put it in like that a bit and it's kind of, it lights up, but it's not in. It's, it's just stupid. And the pod just falls out in your pocket. It's a load of crap. I wish I'd reviewed it. Such an idiot. And I've got some, interestingly, just juice, bar nick salts. Um, which which were sent to <laughs> this is cool actually they weren't sent to me like it wasn't a review sample they were sent to vaping style which meant i got them look a whole box of them how cool is that so i'm still gonna get free stuff even though i haven't got a channel anymore <laughs> look and it's full of them look how good's that so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah, that was nice. Thanks very much, Vaping Style. <laughs> how you doing? Everyone's in, everyone's in. Braun Blaster, how you doing? Nice to see you, mate. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's, what, what is this one? Dragon Fruit and Raspberry. Oh, I need to charge that. But yeah, that, that, is, that is literally all I'm vaping on. You have one too, Mark? Yeah, Mark's on it as well. Now I bet you got the box as well. Yeah, it's cool. So I stole that straight off of Mrs. Flat Cap. I was like, that's going in my basket. That's going in my room. So that's all cool. I'm sweating already. It's not a good start, is it? I'm sweating. Oh, yes, yes, Lizzie. Yes. Um, penguins. Yes, penguins. Did you finish that juice off? No, no Faxi, it's sat there actually. Uh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Um, so I didn't, I didn't review that, okay? It's still in the bloody box. But, <laughs> how fun is this, right? Vaporesso, usually just complete asses with me. Sent me a bag the other week. I've got a Vaporesso bag. And then these arrived the other day. And Bunny is going to freak out over this one. The colour of it is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do a review on these, which will probably be a bit of a Mickey take. I'll show you this now. The Cross 4, the x Ross 4. Uh, there is a little cover thing on this, but this is really pretty. Probably can't see it very well. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's pretty. I think that's quite nice. So yeah, I'm going to do a little video on that because, oh yeah, I wanted one too, Jackie. Uh, it's only fair. I will be ripping into Vaporesso a little bit just for fun. Because, you know, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, guys, I can't really complain um, about, I, I know I said in my little video about um, the channel and viewers and subscribers and stuff, but I can't really complain because I've done a lot less content. And when you do less content, you get less, less viewers, blah, 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 less interaction, less traction, all that kind of stuff. So I, I, I kind of thought after I said all that, I thought, well, it was a little bit unfair. But at the same time, that's the, that's the facts. So yeah, that that's some movies to do. I've got some game on juice. I've got some wonderful Digby stuff to do. I've got a, the Legio X. See it there, it's sat there on a proper Legio X jobby. So I've got that to do. Uh, yeah, and there are some videos coming out, because like I said in the thing in Madurial, I didn't want to end this channel on like a bye bye video. So yeah, that I wanted to end with some some content, you know. Uh, oh, you've already seen it, and he didn't give you one, Bunny. You want the other color? I haven't opened that one, but it's like a, um, yeah, it looks like a camo army green kind of jobby going on. Looks pretty cool. Are these new? I think there's two new pods from Vaporesso as well. They get, they always give me these, right? But they're always scrunched up. They're always like, look at them. That's not me, okay? That, that's how it turns up. But they've got a new 0.6 and a 0.8 ohm pod. But there was a 0.6 and there was a 0.8. Look. So, so these two are new, 0.6 and 0.8. But there's also 0.6 and 0.8 there. Maybe they've done something. Evening, Craig Chambers. <laughs> love to see you. And Craig's a lovely bloke as well. Craig is a lovely bloke. It's got the, it's got my our favourite, the Axon chip. So you know it's going to fire in. No, 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 no. Point two. <laughs> two amp charge. Yeah, enough of that. I'll do. I'll deal with that later. Uh, uh, wow, how did that fly over there? I threw it behind me and it went that way. <laughs> Corex, Jackie, 
You've just saved me probably about 20 minutes of Google Foo. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Free meal, yeah, but I mean, that won't be um, that won't be for us, will it, Faxi? Darcy's in the house. Darcy, another superstar in the vape scene. Thank you, Darcy, for all the support over the months and weeks and years. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Jackie. No, genuinely, you've saved me some time there. Because you get stuff like that and you go like, oh, what's new about this? And you go on their website and you try and find out what's going on and you email them sometimes. They don't come back to you. Oh, you only had test samples. You only got them delivered. Ah. Oh. That's not fair. Faxi, I'll put a, I'll tell I'll put a divert on my on my um <laughs> on my mail and maybe Vapress will start sending you stuff. <laughs> Cause I have emailed some companies saying I'm I'm not gonna be doing videos, but stuff sometimes still slip through the net. But to be fair, that's the most amount of hardware I've had in about three months. So, you know, it's it's just the way it is now. For for me anyway. But it's that's like I say, it's my fault. It's my fault for not putting in the work. A duck and a penguin race. Well, I hadn't, I had, I tell you what I'd planned to do with races. I'd planned just to do a race, a penguin race, because the penguin races, for some reason, are so popular. But, and I was just going to do a race for an Atty Stack. Um, but I think it's a Shy Tots week. So if you wanted to do multiple races, Shy Tots, you're the boss today. <laughs> if you, if you're the race boss, it's, it's technically still your week. So if you wanted to, if you wanted ducks as well, we'll do a duck race. I'm, I'm up for anything. I'm not bothered. Um, so, yeah, I've already told you what I'm vaping on. Code red. Um, I, yeah, I've got some empty bottles of... I've got some empty bottles of Amalfi, so I'm going to have to stock up with Amalfi. I've got half a bottle of foam shrimps. And I'm going to say this right now, okay? For years, Code Red has been my all-time favourite of all time. <laughs> Twice. Love Code Red. Love Code Red for an all-day vape. It's just consistent. And it's consistently brilliant. Get on it, Hedgie. <laughs> Gonna have to make you a mega mega base. But Code Red, as good as Code Red is, um, a dressing gown race, no Ben. There's been two, there's been a lot of flavours over the years that I've enjoyed. I've tried unreal amount of e-liquids over the last five years. I've never imagined of trying so many. I imagine if I hadn't, I'd never have gotten involved in a channel. My... Uh, my experience of vaping would have been of e-liquids would have been a lot a lot lot less i never would have tried the amount of flavors i've tried but i've tried loads of different flavors some have come and gone been good and i've enjoyed them for a week or two weeks or bought a couple of bottles and then i've kind of given up or gone back to code red usually i end up going back to code red there are two flavors that have joined code red i no longer have code red as the top dog now top Top my top favourite flavour is now three flavours: Code Red, Legio X Amalfi Lemon, and Dark Stars Foam Shrimps. Them three are just amazing for different reasons, but those three just I can't. I've I sat here this week trying to think what one is actually my favourite, but I just can't. I can't. To be fair, Foam Shrimps and Amalfi. I probably enjoy more, but I think it's the whole thing with Code Red being that all day. I just don't have to worry. It's just consistently brilliant for me. Yeah, but Amalfi and Foam Shrimps have joined Code Red, which you wouldn't believe, would you? Because I'm such a Code Red head. But yeah, yeah. Peach and Raspberry Nerds. Oh, yes, Ben. Yes. Do you know what I did? When, um, when that went full time, I bought a couple of bottles of that and destroyed it. No, Mark, no interest to the race. I'm going to do a race and I'll just, whoever's in chat, I'm going to add you. So that might be a bit boring when I'm typing your names in. But if anyone wants to be in the race, I won't even do the next one. I, well, I'll maybe do something. Maybe go on the participants list, but sometimes that misses people. Maybe we'll do an X1 job and then get you all in the race. Um, did I miss? Shy? Oh, Jane, you want to? Oh, Jane's an absolute star. Thank you, Jane. We're going to do a Shy Tops race. And we'll do a little, um, we'll do an Atty Stack race. I don't know if I'll do you get a starter kit. It's either that or I'll give you a, a budget, an amount. I don't know yet what's best. I'll probably say to the Atty Stack winner, here's a budget to, and go on shop about, see what you want, send me a screenshot of your cart, your basket, and then jobby wobby woohoo. Yeah, and then we'll do that. Um, we are going to do, Darcy, just hang around and then we're X1 when it comes to race time and then I'll add you all into the race. I'm sorry, Andy. Andy, Andy, before I do anything else, actually, and we'll talk about this now. Sod it. We'll talk about this now. So, a million pound is that bundle. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, that'd be funny. 
So if you don't know, guys, Andy Wilk, you know Andy Wilkerson, you know he's a superstar, you know he's a lovely chap, you know he used to work with Dov Poe, he's been extremely generous with the channel, he got me in touch with people like BP Mods and helped me get stuff uh, to review from BP Mods, he's made links between myself and Infinite Mods, I then got an opportunity to try things from Infinite Mods like the, oh, I've gone blank, what's the Jewel Boro from Infinite Mods and Orca and all them, damn it, the Ethos, the Ethos. I've got number two. I've got number two ethos. Yeah, I'm always, everything's number two. Thank you, Sean. How cool was that? I had that exclusive video. That's all because of Andy Wilkerson. There's many other things Andy Wilkerson's done for me and the channel and all that kind of stuff. Absolute star. And a couple months ago, he's like, oh, I've got an MVP mod. The MVP, Dobpo MVP. I've got a flat cap one here somewhere. Where? See, that's another cool thing. I've got my own FCV. And a couple of you have got the FCV... This, this is what I mean. This is how lucky I've been with the channel. Stuff like this. And he's like, I've got one of these, but I want to put a 40 millimeter on top of it. Can you 3D print something? Now, I have zero mod making experience. And I'm limited with my 3D design experience. So, I've been on a wild mission. I had five, yeah. Was it five or was it ten? No, it was five, wasn't it? Thomas Douglas finally got an eight stack. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Thomas waited about ten years for that eight stack. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. Um, past tense, gazes. Yeah. <laughs> so I went on a bit of a tr mission trying to make a, a an MVP frame that could take the panels, right, but hold 40 millimeter. I just failed and failed and failed. And I wish I could... Yeah, actually, I don't have them here. And I don't mind showing you all now. So there's your, there's your normal kind of panel, but, oh, which is covered in gunk. And I, and I made attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt, oh no, they're not attempts, they're the actual things. I made loads of attempts to try and get the shape perfectly right so that it would sit inside this gooey, gunky frame, right? So it'd sit inside there. I was just couldn't get it spot on. So I got fed up and eventually, obviously, as you've seen before, I started making that shape and I made these box mods, okay? And I've got, I can't even, like this is just three, but I promise you, I've got so many shells here from practicing, trying to learn, how to have kind of all the internals from an MVP, the chip, the battery tray, all into these kind of things. Well, I've just got loads of these, but in the end, I got fed up. After about three weeks of designing, printing, testing, no, no good. Designing, printing, testing, I got fed up. So then, this is my wall of shame at the minute, okay? This is a number of different things. Um, and you all saw, you all saw this one when it took on this shape, the MVP 40, okay? You all saw this shape. And, and everyone thought it was lovely and I was very happy with it. And it still uses a lot of the Dove Post stuff. But I'm, I still wasn't happy with it. And I'm like, ah! Oh! So I'd gone back to the drawing board again. And some of you might have seen in the last week or two on Discord, I've been showing a new shape, which I thought I was there with. I th thought I was there with. I've designed battery tray after battery tray. Right? These are all just to try and get it right. Can you see all them on there? Look, you probably can't. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about 12. 12 battery trays. 12 battery trays. <laughs> so, yeah. Just to get, like, to hold the chip in place so that it lines up with the screen hole, so it lines up with the buttons, so it sits firmly so that you don't push in the batteries from the battery tray and it doesn't press the... Honestly. Yes, Metal Vape. Metal Vape knows. Trying to... It's just been a real big learning curve for me. A massive... I've just learned a hell of a lot about how to physically 3D design something that can then practically be put together. Also keep in mind, you need to be able to 3D print it. So you can't just design something that's all curvy and wavy because a 3D printer is not going to be able to do those overhangs. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do that. Um, yeah, you, you can stack them. <laughs> um, I, Andy, I have. I have enjoyed it. But... I, if I'm honest, I swear, I feel guilty because Andy Wilkinson was kind of to send me a number of MVP mods. And the idea is to donor the chip and the panels off of them and as much as we could and, and implement it into a, a larger MVP. But what I've actually ended up with is something completely different. But nonetheless, I had this vision of just packaging up this new MVP mod with some Atty Stack stuff and send it to Andy about six months ago. But we're still like not, I'm still not there. The latest one, which is 
there's problems at the minute. But this is the latest one, okay? Which has got like a spider's face. You see it's got an eye, an eye missing in the minute. Okay, and I've kind of been toying around with things like that. The, the, the texture's a bit too textured. Um, but nonetheless, it takes well over 40 millimeters. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, the Valhalla. It takes well over 40 millimeters. It's a dual 21700, not an 18650. So it's 220 watts, because that's what you get from the Doppo chip. But you've got a dual 21700s. So you've got plenty of battery life. And, and um, well, yeah, it's all a bit of a mess inside there. It's all a bit... I haven't... It was fixed in place, but I've been toying around. So that's where I'm at with it. Thank you, Jane. That's where I'm at with it. It's 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 getting there. It's not... Where's the... Let's get this one. It's not like... Um, I mean... There's only going to be so many of them. Thank you, Sean. There's only going to be so many of them. They're not going to be crazy expensive like another, like a lot of 3D printing mods are. Purely because a, I'm a noob at this, and b, this is a this is a community thing. This is like, I've been given something. I've had the opportunity to learn how to develop something, and so in turn, I ain't looking to make crazy money out of it. I'm just kind of, you know, just. It's it just it's just something cool and it's different and it's not going to be like oh it's you know I don't even know what's going to happen I could be completely happy with these send them out to people and then with a month they fall apart no, I don't want that to happen that's why this is taking me so long because I'm really having to get them right I want them to be right but that's kind of where I'm at at the minute so this is kind of the the, the finish that we're we're going for so you don't get them layer lines that you get from a lot of 3D printed mods but you get like a texture and that was said that did say wilkie at one point but as you can see it all fell apart that's another story you know just kind of snap it <laughs> so that's kind of the finish you'll get so it's like it's not rough but it's not smooth you want to throw some drawings in no that's the thing ben it will not come for a three or oh, three day warranty yeah about basically what the plan is okay um, it's a nice texture because they're smooth. Bear in mind, the, these are all like practice ones, so they're not the best quality print I can do. But with, with, when you print it without a texture, you see you get these kind of layer lines? Now I can kind of lose a lot of them by doing a slightly higher quality, slower print, but I didn't like them layer lines. The plan is... Um, <laughs> the, the plan is... I have uh, a good handful of MVP chips and screens and buttons, which I'm not going to use the buttons actually, but a lot of those things Andy Wilkinson kindly donated to this um, thing, this project. So there'll be a number of finished completed mods that will go up for sale. But I am also thinking of if you have an MVP, a working MVP that you don't really use, and you want to donate it. No, I say donate it. You send it to me. I take all the gizmos out. Make sure it works first. Take all the gizmos out. Put it in a mod. Then I'm going to be able to produce more of these mods. So it would also be a way of you saving a few quid. Because, yeah, you can kind of just send me your mod. And then if they do well and people like them, then that will be the option. That would be the either buy it complete or... Because all I'm going to have to do is end up buying MVP mods. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, yeah, down, down the line, I really feel like, because I have enjoyed doing this, but and I've learned a lot, but I've got a lot more to learn. I do feel like that's the way I'm going with things in the vape world. I'm going, I'm slowly going down like a, a mod making kind of line. But I'm not much of a mech head. So it does mean I'm more regulated. And I'm, I'm going to be trying my hardest after this whole MVP thing to find a decent chip that's not DNA cost because I think that's a lot of the issues with a lot of regulated 3D printing mods. Or at least part of the problem, they're using just evolved DNA chips so the the price goes right up. But I, I think there's other ways we could do it, you know. That's the problem, Paul Ryan. There's, it's difficult. You'd be surprised just trying to find a chip set off the shelf that you can just use, you know, whatever. Uh, yee -he, yeah, yee -he says, sure. Who likes yee -he? A good regulated 3D printed mod, yeah. I mean, you've obviously got, thanks to the wonderful Faxi, you've got Rebel Mods, these are some great mods. We've still, <laughs> still got gunk on it. Really enjoyed using this, actually. It's been really, really good. I've learned a lot just from looking at that thing. SXK make decent chips. I'll have a look at, and look into that. See, that's, I don't want that Shrek. I don't want MOSFETs or just the, it's got the basic safeties. No, I want a screen, you know. I might even have to look into that, developing my own bloody chips. 
<laughs> That'd be another six months. Nikki Maynard will be well up for some Axon chips. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. I, I am really enjoying this whole mod thing, but it has been desperately stressful because you, you, you're learning to, to design something, which, I can, you know, I can design something, but then have it so it could be put together in a real 3D part. And also, it needs to be able to be 3D printed, which in itself is another obstacle. Those three elements have made this a bit of a challenge. Hi, Sam. Don't worry about being late, Sam. You're good. So, yeah, it's been um, an interesting challenge. I'm really enjoying it. But, yeah. Let's do the news. I've waffled on loads already. And the news is only one article, but I just thought it was interesting. I just, I just wonder what... This thrilling is... All day, I just want to watch the news, and they just won't stop this drilling all day. It's really annoying. It is really annoying. Uh, I need to go to... Uh, I can't remember which one it is. Is it this one? Yes, okay, right. This is in the Daily Mail. Would you believe it, right? The Daily Mail have actually... Look, yeah, don't worry, you've seen it now. You've probably already seen this. The Daily Mail are actually d discussing... The fact that the World Health Organization are being, are being slammed about the whole seizures thing. They're saying about vaping. The fact that the Daily Mail have put this out on their website surprised me. Because any of these media organizations, they don't want to hear, they don't want you to know bad things that are being said about these wonderful organizations. They don't want you to hear that the who are being questioned. But they, 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 I was like, wow! I can't remember where I got it from. I stole it off Facebook somewhere and it might have been off you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, basically, uh, World Health Organization slammed by fact checkers for cla claiming vaping can cause a seizure within 40 hours. Now, I will admit the Daily Mail put a lot of the Who's advertising posters in this article, which is a bit annoying. And they don't really support vaping in this article, but they're just they're they're highlighting the fact that the Who are being slammed for it. I was he talking about this blog last night. Yeah, uh, been slammed last night. The global organization fact oh, was fact checked by X on X by users prompting the social platform to post a community note. The post is based on inconclusive evidence utilizing studies that have not been peer reviewed. So then it goes on. See, so then you got all the advertising on all the who posters. Oh, there's, no, there's a bum there. Hello, bum bum. <laughs> what does that say? Average size of women's butts around the world, world revealed. Wow, that is really... I really want to read that article. That sounds so interesting. <laughs> um, so basically what they're saying is that obviously, as we all knew, the 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 information that the Who said, those posters they put about the seizures, have not really been fact-checked. It's not really true. It's a load of old BS. And they've been called out about it by enough people, which is great that the people have been putting the pressure on it, on, on them. On, on the who and everyone else enough pressure that the daily mail have picked up on it which is great people need to get angry who's this guy hello don't miss out on st james's place compensation check now i don't know. um i think it's great that um let's go back to face i think it's good that you're getting angry you're getting angry and you're seeing stuff that you know is a load of bs and you're calling them out on it and as a nation and as a as a world of vapors we need to do that with everything the days of not sharing a news article because it's slamming vaping i honestly think forget those days if you see it share it out say look have you seen what you seen what they said we need to we need to you know message them or we need to comment on that article we need to be on their x twitter we need to you know tag them on facebook we need to get angry with these and call them out for their bs or they will just walk all over us Yep, slander, slander, says Metal Vape. Slandered organisations. Yeah, you need to call people out. There's no point sitting back in, in our, and just be angry here and kind of just don't let anyone know and just kind of be angry vapors. No, we need to be very vocal. Whilst being mildly polite, <laughs> but very vocal. We all need to be vocal. I'm going to be vocal. I'm actually hope um, with this change in the channel and stuff, I might be able to be a little bit more angry. I can certainly say a lot more about, you know, being called an arsehole. Well, we can be called an arsehole, but it's not going to affect my channel. <laughs> so, yeah. It is Shrek. That's why I, that's why I want to show it, because you vape best when you're angry. Darcy's like... Um, yeah, it, it is. I was surprised, Shrek, because I honestly didn't think the Daily Mail would... I'd wanna, I thought they'd want to hide stuff like this. The Who have been... Oh, bloody hell, a lot of vapors are getting upset and... 
they're all they're all having a go at the World Health Organization. Don't don't tell anyone. Shh. No, they they put it out there. I mean, how many does how many views this has had this article? Fifty two shares. Well done, Andy Wilkinson. I'll send you a link to that average size of women's butts around the world revealed thing later, Andy. <laughs> the average. I mean, come on. The average. If anyone's just joined up, if anyone's just started watching now, okay, we were just looking at this news article, and the, oh, not that one, sorry. Uh, and there's this this here, average size of women's butts around the world revealed. <laughs> Do people really click those things? I really want to know what the average size of a woman's butt is in Sweden. <laughs> what? And how do you measure? How is it measured? How do you measure the average size of a butt? It's not like bra sizes. Oh, this this woman's butt is thirty six D. Does that work? Can someone answer that question, please? So you go over tape measure. Yeah. <laughs> is it done with like bowls? You have like if you've got a little bum, it's just done with like cereal bowls. And then like, the big butts are done with like a big mixing bowl. How <laughs> does that work? Butt measuring competition. <laughs> I don't know how that. How do they know the average size of the butt? Here's the waist. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Bunny. <laughs> I don't know how they measure a bum. I want to know, Jackie. Measure it in weight. Yeah, but if you can't just sit down on the scales because that measures all your weight. Well, you just hold up the cheeks. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. There's the song, nice one to mix a lot. Average, yeah, but how? I don't know how they've got a butt size. Retail selling pants, yeah, oh, okay. So they've done it by pants and knickers sizes. Yeah, measure yourself up, Jackie. Hey. <laughs> oh, I don't know how they measure butt sizes, but that is funny. Oh dear, that is funny. Yes, Darcy. So, yeah, that is literally news because I just saw that and I thought, that's nice to see. I don't know where it's come from. How many 21700s can I fit in there? You know, it's nice to see they're getting slammed. And it's nice to see that it's been put out in the news. It's, oh, good one, Jackie. That's a proper dad joke. That is, Jackie. It's, that's a cracking article. <laughs> oh dear so yeah that's that 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 was the only bit of news i want to talk about now with regards to new stuff coming out did i see there's a new um asgard a big boy asgard coming out or was that just someone trolling there seems to be a couple of cool things being released soon i should have just screenshotted it and asked you lot it looked like there was a large asgard coming up Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Shrek. Thank you, Craig. 37mm Asgard XL. Ooh. 37 slash 40. Oh, 40mm. Oh, if it's a 40mm Asgard, that's a monster. 60. Yes, boss. That's what we want. What is 60? Actually, what can I fit on this? Bear with me. I think it's like 50 or something. Roughly speaking. You'll about get away with. I tell you what, whoever guesses right um, doesn't get anything. I was forty minutes with a beauty. Thank you, Sean. You would not believe the wit, the girth of Andy Wilkinson's mod. It's, it's okay. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I'll show you. Fifty-four point two, apparently. <laughs> Don't worry, John Paul. It's lovely to see you, mate. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, there you go. So a big old, big old mod it is. So yeah. Um, but the, the but going back to it quickly, that mod, big learning curve. After that, we're looking at, I'm hoping for single 21700, probably a dual 18650, probably some kind of Boro device. And then on from there, who knows? Uh, they'll all be part of, this is my plan anyway. None of this might happen, but they'll all be part of the Atty Stack thingy. The, the the name stack mod rings a bell. It kind of sticks in my head for some reason. Stack mod. You can't stack the mods, but it's part of the actual stack range. It's a mod, so stack mod. So stack mod. This one, for example, 
keep saying this for example this one's just called Wilkie and this is part of the FCV gang alright that's what this one is but yeah and I'm not even sure about the teeth I don't know if the spider look is any good I just thought it was fun um, yeah maybe later down the line zombie will do a quad 21 700 uh, yeah a squonk as well Tom yes I have been looking at a squonker um, f because I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything but I have been very very kindly gifted some top side chipsets dual battery top side chips so there there might have to be a, uh, no there will definitely there should be a, a limited run of dual battery squonkers thank you Shrek we'll do that now shall we yes really atty mod stacky thing <laughs> let's have a look at this oh let me download it and then you can all see it what have they said? Asgard.xl, I do 37mm I do. Oh, you want to see it as well, don't you, if you haven't already. Um, build deck brings the classic Asgard style. Good. Individual post holes for easy coil installation. Swapping a drip to squonk mode. Extremely fast. Oh, quick release, squ quick release squonk pin. It's like the on a bicycle. Airflow XL comes with... On the outside, the RDA is supporting 66 airflow holes. Massive intake into the second stage airflow chamber to build pressure before it's diffused onto the coil. Wow. The new change comes with how the updated airflow system offers improved undercoil airflow direction. I love that. That's under Undercoil airflow is so underrated. An airflow chute integrated into the deck of the atomizer, allowing... Offering more condensed there. Wow, they're really going for it on the on the old description. Oh well, yeah, I'm excited. It looks quite stumpy, doesn't it? It doesn't look incredibly tall. I like that. That's going to be a monster, isn't it? How much is it going to be? Do you reckon? Hundred quid? Eighty quid? I mean, even even a twenty four or twenty five minute is nice, isn't it? Um, that that's like they're, they're still about twenty five quid, and they were about fifty quid, I think, when they come out. 60 67 99 75 quid oh mrs flat cap it's my birthday on sunday 120 quid expo hmm so it ain't bad though what well, it is for an rda it's a lot of money but if you're going to get a 40 or 37 millimeter or one of these larger rdas you, you know you're gonna have to pay the money i think i got i think i had got a valhalla expo which was about 40 quid and then i got a, another valhalla through their website which was on a sale for about 35 40 quid uh so yeah thank you sean yeah i'm gonna be 39 people you right poor people pay 130 quid for a bridge yeah um i no, i'm looking forward to doing the whole mods thing and not being crazy money mods 3d printed mods but not crazy money uh, that's what i'm looking forward to thank you jackie yeah i'm getting old so okay quickly not quickly not too slowly though um there's a couple of reasons then for the whole channel livy's back hi livy you're looking at the south africa is the winner <laughs> livy's brilliant finding out about the butt size thing um yeah, there's a couple of reasons about the whole channel and the reviews and the videos and this stream and this this live show is probably the hardest part about all of this it's like i don't really want to give it up I don't really want to give up vaping reviews and I don't really want to give up my channel and I don't really want to give up. But there's so many other things that I want to do and I've got to get on with. And I've been doing this solidly for five years. Not so much this show, but just the whole channel. And when you do something almost religiously every evening in some way, shape or form, either, maybe, whether that be recording or editing or sometimes on other shows, like for a long while, for like two, three years, I was casting two, three times a week on other shows, UK Vape Show, Three Men in the Vape Show, Saturday Night Vape Away, all these kind of things that I've done. Uh, it, and when you take out ev almost every evening of your life for five years, there's a lot of things that you don't do. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I'm like, you know, there's things I should have been doing, but I just got other challenges in my life I want to try and do. One now is this bloody mod, but yeah, there's other things I just want to want to do and want to explore, um, and 
at somewhere I had to make a sacrifice. So at the beginning of the year, my sacrifice was less reviews, scale it all down. Just do my Fridays, pop out the occasional review. We do next ones already. Um, what what was the next ones about? One a month. Yeah, but what's the point? Uh, we'll talk about it in a minute, Lizzie. <laughs> Damn you lot on your X1s. Peer pressure. Um, so when I scaled down, I kind of thought that I was hoping that might give me the opportunity to do my other things. But I just haven't. Whether that's because of laziness, maybe. But I just, I think I needed to just put a stop to it and say, right, now there's your door to kind of your opportunity to do the other things you want to do. And it, I don't even want to tell you guys about uh, a couple of things that I want to get done. Uh, one of which you know about the mod, but there's other things just in life, life in general that I want to try and achieve. Um, and I just need time to do them and I need my evenings to do them. So that's a big reason. Maybe turning 39, getting close to the 40 mark. I feel like my mind's, my brain's changing a bit. My whole outlook, my whole thought on my future, uh, where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing my health all that kind of stuff comes into your mind as you get to this ripe page so I, I, it just felt like the right kind of time <laughs> i'm just going to sit here and play fortnite every night no there's there's generally some things uh, i want to try and achieve long long term let's say next year or the year after or the year after i'm um, a bigger butt <laughs> i'm going to become a professional butt measurer <laughs> Um, long term, I you ne look, I'm not going to shut the channel down. The channel will just stay there, okay? A because occasionally there might be some cool, there might be something advocacy wise that I want to put out there. I might be angry. It's a good a good place to, you know, do that. There might be some eighty stack updates. There might be some stack mod. I'm still not sure on the name. There might be some mod things. I'm going to spam it on my channel. Sorry, but it's there. You know. So you don't have to be subscribed. You can unsubscribe to the channel. It's cool. I ain't going to moan at anyone who's unsubscribed because it is basically going to be a, a mostly dead channel after a handful of reviews I've got to do. Um, but I didn't want to just shut it down. I still get comments on videos from three years ago. People occasionally comment saying, oh, thanks for the review. Or I've just bought this. I really like it. Oh, was a lot of people calling me out on stuff. Like, Why did you say this? That You're wrong. That's cool. You know, you get all that kind of stuff. That's all part and parcel of being a YouTuber. Um, so I didn't. I don't want to just shut the channel down, because it's there's flipping. I never made it to a thousand videos, but there's flipping about eight hundred videos on here. So it's there's plenty of hours and years worth of information, and some bloody good videos along the way as well. Some not so good, <laughs> but a lot of good videos and a lot of a lot of hours of work and gigabytes of data. Um, hi, Layback Vape Show. Layback Vape Show. I've got their 200th show uh, next week, which is amazing. 200 show. Um, everyone's moaning about once a month. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. There's a couple other things. Um, the the first one is something that I did mention a few weeks ago. Um, so I had you probably if you've been hanging around long enough, you'll know that uh, Mrs. Flatcap's dad uh, has been fighting cancer for about eight years now he's had lung cancer he's had it in his liver he, he's he's suffered a lot and he's been through chemo for years he keeps fighting he's an unbelievable fight he just goes on and on and and he, he still does it smiling you know and he's gone through so many different treatments um unfortunately if you do remember i told you a few, uh, few weeks maybe months ago they found a tumor on his brain which he has had radiotherapy for um but the future isn't looking great so there's that as well there's that as well uh, obviously we want to try and enjoy our time with him as long as possible as long as as well as the kids want to spend as much time with him i need to be around gem needs to be around for her family for her mum and dad whenever they need them she might need to get up and go i i don't want to be I don't want her to feel, oh, it's Friday evening. I can't go see my mum my or my dad because Gaz has got a show. I want her to be able to just go at any time. No, just go. Don't worry about the kids. Don't worry about cleaning up the dish, the dishes. Just go. And so, it, you know, there's that as well. There's things like that as well that I just, you know. So thank you for the hearts, guys. Uh, Andreas Launcher, yeah, that was a cool one. Yeah, so, you know, there's there's other things like that. 
that I just need to be around for. Yeah. It's horrible. It's it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. It's um I, I know a lot of you out there have either, you know, have had family members, loved ones that have had had cancer and stuff like that, and it is awful. I just don't want to be another obstacle for her. Now, I know I, there was another thing I said on the my video about leave, shutting up the channel and stuff. I kind of mentioned Discord and social media and that kind of stuff. The whole rules that come out on social media shocked me. I didn't know that even existed. And then a few days later, everyone was like, well, we need to shut our Facebook groups down or make them private and we all need Discord channels. And I, at the time... In my mind, I'm going through, I want to close the channel. And I see all this, and I'm like, well, sod this. I don't want nothing to do with this. Um, so you're saying that you normally leave Gemma to do this year on the road? Yeah, I do. Because I usually cook, Ben. So I cook, she cleans up. <laughs> when, when this whole, and I feel, oh, I feel terrible for all these, these businesses, particularly the smaller guys and girls who are trying to promote their brands, their e-liquid brands particularly. Well, just highlight e-liquid brands. Because a lot of them, I try and support, and this channel supports, and they support the channel, blah, 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 you know, the whole thing. They're having to make their Facebook pages private, and then they're, they're setting up a Discord group, and then trying to get people to join the Discord so they can keep their followers and their customers informed, because they're not allowed to post publicly on social media. Social media, where people who have similar interests can interact and share and learn and find out new things about things they're interested in a social community is giving killed off if you can't if you're in your house and you're talking to your whoever <laughs> about oh i need to get a new pair of jeans and then your bloody alexa pops up with jeans adverts and you go on facebook on your phone and you're scrolling through and there's adverts for jeans that that can all happen but you can't be on Facebook looking at a vape video and then your Facebook picks up, oh, this person's interested in vape stuff. Well, oh, I'm just scrolling. Oh, Lead I haven't heard of them. Let's check out their liquid. Now, that's all got to be private now and tucked under the carpet. That really pissed me off. Hi, Pip. Hi. That really did. It really wound me up to see all that. And I kind of feel really bad for Shy Tots, Lead Your X, Digby's, uh, Exceptional Vapes. Uh, all the all all there's so many brands that support the channel with throughout the years I, I can't even begin to um name them all i feel really bad for them i don't know what's going to happen and then i put myself within that mix and i thought what chance have i got i've got no chance of having any kind of reach if vaping is being really suppressed and kind of kicked under the carpet under the rug oh, what chance so it just kind of added onto my pile or things that are, are kind of make me feel like this is the right time to call it a day. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Now, I, I'm i still optimistic about vaping. I know maybe the last kind of six months, maybe three months, I've been a bit more negative about the whole vape scene and the whole flavor bands and disposables and the taxes and all that kind of stuff. But I felt I've, I've had an important role to do, as limited as it is with viewers and all that kind of stuff. I think it's important for me to say what I want to say because there don't seem to be many people saying it. Everyone seems to be like, oh, it'll be okay. We just, well, you know, if there's a tax, we'll just pay it. No, don't just bloody pay it. And highlight all the BS that goes on with people are doing and all the nonsense with the media and all these big tobacco knobheads, you know, and get angry, a bit pissed off with these people because it's you can't just sit down and take it all your whole, your whole life. Because what's the point? You know, there's so much BS with vaping and you see it and we've seen it a thousand times. I'm ranting now, sorry. We've seen it with America. We've seen it happening in Australia. You can see the whole thing going to happen with pharmaceutical grade, you know, e-liquids and vape mods. You can see it going down that path. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the lifers. I love it. Um, you can see all this. Sam, how you doing? You're right, Sam. I just clocked Sam Digby's. Sam Digby's. Sorry. Yeah, Stuart tried and got nowhere, see? So I, I'm... That's another reason why I want this channel to stay, because I feel like every now and then I'm going to get really angry and I'm going to need to spit some stuff out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. Um, EC Click posted an article earlier about the new campaign for vaping. For vaping. It's vape tax is on their exit account. Oh, I'll check that out, Jackie. Mm. So, yeah, the, I've been I've been disheartened by vaping in general over the last few months. And then with everything else in the world and my own world, my family and all that kind of stuff, I just thought it's kind of time. 
I feel guilty in a way, especially to you guys, the Flat Cut Friday show. I do love doing it. I am turning to Vic, <laughs> John Paul, yeah. No, I can't do that. Vic's got a very important role in this scene. Um, but I do feel bad because I do love doing this stream, but I've got to be able to be available. And I've also got some things in my own personal challenges that I've got to do. Stuff I've neglected for five years because I've been doing this, I've been doing this, I've been doing this. You know, at one point I was doing like four videos a week, which doesn't sound a lot, but that's, and some of them really good views, so they're easy, I get it, but it's a lot of time photographing, recording, at evenings of editing to really late at night, like I'd some days I'd get home from work at four or five o'clock, which isn't too bad, mess around with the kids, have dinner, get the kids to bed, seven, whatever o'clock, in, in here, and this is before, this is my old house as well, particularly my old house, Eight o'clock till one, two in the morning. Get back up at six, maybe seven. The next day, and do the same again. All week, including at the weekends. Sat Friday nights and Saturday nights were the worst because I'd stay up till like two, three if I could. Before Jen would be texting me like, "You need to come to bed." You know, we're going out in the morning. It was obsessed. I was obsessed. It was obsessive. I would just, I just, oh, I want to get this video done. Oh, and I'd start editing one, and then. I'd love some of the bits I'd done. I'm not, I'm such a fan of my own videos. It's so ch cheesy, but I was. Uh, so, yeah, I was at one point I was almost obsessed with it, and I wanted loads of content out there. I wanted to be putting videos out as often as possible because I loved seeing I put out four videos and everyone else had put out two. <laughs> I loved it. It was the competition side of it. I was like, ah, yeah, who's put out five videos this week? Oh, just me. <laughs> but that that's what I was like. I was that obsessed with it, you know. But that's, that was part of it. That's how you grow a, a, a channel on YouTube. In any aspect, if you want to do a YouTube channel on anything, you got to, you, and you want quality, but you want quantity as well. So you've got to do both. If you want to do both, you need to be putting in a ridiculous amount of hours to do it. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, I was most proud. And I've, you know, I'm very proud of my videos throughout the years. Very, very proud of some of the work I've done. Some of my, I always hate the facey stuff, but some of my up closey stuff, the close ups, the build videos, that kind of stuff. Super proud of it. Super, super proud of it. At one point, a lot of other people were trying it and then they'll go back to their old style and they're like, oh, it was too much work or whatever. You know, and, and, and I started a lot in the way. There were people who done it before me. I will mention the man TVP because his, his table cam stuff was incredible at the time. And, and a lot of others were doing great work. I just wanted to go up a notch and up a notch. And I kept buying more cameras, better cameras and better editing software and this and that. And da, 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 da. Obsessed. I was obsessed. So, yeah, I was, um, I've had a really good run. A really good run. It, you know, I think it was... <laughs> Shrek, you say what I like about TVP. I'm just mentioning his videos because his videos back then were awesome. It was really, really nice video work. So I have to give him that. I have to give him that. Um... What was I saying, Shrekky boy? You, you said I saw the N word and. <laughs> Thank you, John Paul. No, look, I'm not disappearing forever. I'm still a vapor. I still love vaping. I still, I'm still subscribed to many YouTube channels myself. A lot of them, especially UK guys. Layback Vape Show are still my boys, <laughs> even though I never message them back. Um, that pod just fell out. I told you it's a stupid mechanism. It doesn't hold in place. Um, I, yeah, I, that's another thing. Obviously, I've been a lot quieter recently, but I think it's just because I've been like, maybe suppressing my feelings, feeling a bit sorry for myself. Um, can I shamelessly promote the Hyperion give? Yes, Sam, do it. Um, spam it now, Sam. I'm the wait. He's typing, typing violently now. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sean. How to fit a drip tip. That got good views. <laughs> uh, and the songs as well can you set up an, an out of the office at what's yeah do you know what? I, I, I should get a special notification whatsapp should have like can i tell you what happens ian i'll get a me excuse me i'll get a message and, and normally if i get a message during the day i'm at work and when i'm at work i'm in like work mode uh and i'll just kind of like so i'll see it and i'll what well, i'll message later well, my memory is terrible. And I wish I could just tap a button and it's like, I'll remind you when you park outside your house or once you your heart rate goes below 120. You know, something when I'm stopped that goes, bing, oh, don't forget, you need to reply to this message because it 
It's annoying because I always never reply to people. So, yeah, you can have any bumpers you like, Lizzie. Um, full bumpers. and Can you release an FCV album, full bumpers and songs? Yes, yeah, sure. I'll do that. We do have. Um, I do have the. Um, now, that's what I call flat cap volume one on my channel. But you want the bumpers as well. Oh, I'll put it together and I'll put a little video up. If that's what you guys want. I should do a little bumper just for fun. Uh, this wasn't a very good one. That was rubbish. Um, they want the rant one. This is good. I just, I just wonder what... This drilling is all day. I just wonder what's the news. Speaking of bumpers... This one, this next one I will show you, is thanks to Sean. I can't remember what happened, what the story was, Sean. But you ended up making a GIF. And then I stole the GIF and used it for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Flatty's Thought of the Week. Yeah, that was a good one. I've got loads from the past as well. Yeah. Best bumper award. Well, uh, a couple of years ago, I think um, I was doing some bumpers. And then Dean, Dean just smashed bumpers out of the park. He just went up another level. Like, I was doing a few slightly silly ones, but Dean's come out and I was like, oh, my days. Malcolm's not here. <laughs> uh, think for race, we voted on funniest gift. That might have been right, actually, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Oh, win what you weigh. Win what we weigh. Yeah, the days of Saturday Night Vaporwave, if you don't know, Pud Puffs and uh, Matt from Nice Guys, just a little bit vapey, which was a great channel. Pud's um, channel was great and the Nice Guys. Uh, Dean was funny. And our Saturday Night Vaporwave was a great Saturday night show. We were all kind of still kind of new in the vape scene and the YouTube scene. Very hungry, very keen. And we used to just prat around on a Saturday night. It was great. You know, it's still... <laughs> the jokes. Uh, and obviously, three known in the vape show with Aiden. And originally with Salford. Great show. Aiden's an absolute superstar. It's, it's been nothing but... he. Uh, you know, one of my best mates in vaping for a long, long while was Aiden. We're not as in touch as much as we used to be. Um, but me and Aiden just kind of understood each other really well, which was nice. Then, obviously, getting the call up to UK Vape Show with the whole reboot with Aiden, with Pud. Awesome. D very different, you know, very, very um, scary. But, you know, good times, good experience. And I, I got to know Vic, which I didn't really know Vic well, very well before then. So getting to know actual real Vic was really nice. And, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled in a number of different ways. I've got a, I've got a number two... L Luna RDA there. I've got a number two ethos. I've got I've got a vape smarter mod that I didn't bloody pay for. I got sent as a gift. You know, I've got an FCV. So many amazing things I've been given over the years just because I have a YouTube channel. It's unreal. Unreal. It's so cool. Stuart, I hope to be there. I hope to be what, what's the best review? I hope to be there, Stuart. Uh da, 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 da. Oh yeah, they the the Andreas. <laughs> See all these exclusives. The, do you know what? There are many channels of this size. They've got to as many exclusive releases as I have, and there's been a few over the years. You haven't used the zombie. Yeah, you, use your Luna. Your Luna. <laughs> your big Luna zombie panda. <laughs> uh, Bluna. You big baboona Luna. <laughs> yeah, I'm number two in everything. I have number two awards. Easy click award. EC Click written reviews. If you go on EC Click, there's loads of my written reviews on there from a couple of years ago, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, EC Click Awards in second place coming out of my rear end. I think three in a row. I'm really proud of that, though. It's not easy to be in that top 10. And everyone's always said, look at your subscribers, guys, compared to the first place, second place, third place, fourth place. I'm punching well above my weight, which is a great sign. But that's all thanks to you guys, mostly. You guys being just awesome supporters genuinely awesome super supportive and I, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of people genuinely couldn't uh i'll, I'll better be there nikki yeah i hope to, i do I hope it's the end of may or is it the beginning of may i 
forget when it is now. I haven't even looked. Oh, and um, fluid, fluid have got us all there. Shy tots are going to be there. Um, who else is going to be there? I say fluid. I say fluid, guys, because fluid, um, fluid are a bunch of YouTube caster guys and others. Obviously, you've got Wick Licker who've created this 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 their own range. And they're promoting it, and I think they they deserve, you know, our support. I do, I do. It's nice to see like-minded folks who are part of the community who put hours of work in with their live streams and that kind of stuff as well. But hours of work in, um, they you know they deserve our support. Tenth to the twelfth of May, five weekends. Away, bloody hell! Ethos release. Only reason it's sold. Only reason it's sold. I don't know if it's the only reason it's sold. There's plenty of other things. But I'm going to click on it. Because how many views did that get? 4,000 views. That ain't bad, is it? Although that video was stolen a few times. And everyone did like their own versions of it. And I was like, cheeky sods. But you lot, you lot backed me up. Everyone was out there like, oh, yeah, nice review. Uh, you know, nice video that you stole from Flat Cap. It was brilliant. Yeah. I can't remember how we come part of the group, nor do I understand why people tolerate me being here despite being an insufferable autistic. Oh, no, Metal Vape. Metal Vape, you underestimate yourself. Metal Vape's another super supporter who's been around for a long time and it's always nice to see you at Expo and that kind of stuff. No, that's, that's the whole beauty of vaping and that's one of the things that we're losing slowly. But we don't want to lose it, so we stick together. Yeah. What have I missed? Mr. Lejo. Will will me at Expo? You both be there at Expo. Good. You there as well, Faxi? Oh, I <laughs> stole your faces. Yeah, I did. Sorry. <laughs> at least you messaged and ask. A lot of people didn't. They just took it. Mm. Um, we don't, Martin. Do you know what? the the whole juice line thing? Um. I owe a huge thanks to Darkstar for years of support, right? And when I started doing the labs, Darkstar labs reviews, I'm a massive Darkstar. I've been, like, you know, Darkstar, Code Red. I've been vaping Code Red for years before. 2017, I think, I first bought Code Red. Might have been even been before then. And Mike from Darkstar messaged me, do you want to do, want to do a couple of reviews, sent me some 100ml bottles I did there, and then they mentioned the whole labs thing. It's like a dream come true for me. So obviously I've seen I've told you this before, but then the labs review, and I've been doing labs, 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 labs. That my labs reviews in comparison to other juice reviews have consistently done a lot better. Because all of a sudden you've got or had at least twenty thousand Dark Star Facebook uh, members potentially clicking on my video. Obviously it would never be that many, but still they're seeing it, it's getting out of there. Now with the whole restrictions and private kind of stuff, it it's, it can affect that as well. But Mike and Darkstar, obviously Dark, yeah, have been just amazing supporters of the channel for years. I'm very fortunate with them guys. Darkstar's a big brand. Love them or hate them. I know there's the haters out there. I get it. Um, super supportive. And there, there was at one point, Martin, some conversations about a, a, um, a flat cap range. It never quite got there. And then I. And this is not dig at anyone. It's just the way the life is. There has been other mini opportunities where juice lines could have happened. And they just never did. For one reason or another. It's not blaming anyone. It's not my fault, his fault, her fault, this company's fault. It's just one of those things that never really happened. I always liked the thought of it. I always liked the thought of having my own juice line out there. But it never really happened. Um... Paul Ryan, I have said there are a few more reviews left to do. I'm not shutting the channel on a I'm done video and a finished live show. No, the channel's not ending like that. Um, the perfect custard. Don't cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> this is too much. Oh, Livy, I'm sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The channel is, like I say, there, there's a couple of videos going to be coming out and um, in the next couple of weeks. And then occasionally you might see something random and go, oh, flat cap. And we'll we'll have a good chat on Discord about lives. Because I just, I don't... The worst thing is, like, planning a stream and then having to cancel. And I imagine 
I imagine this slot is going to be taken pretty quickly because very, everyone's very most people are very respectful and they they won't stream over each other but i feel like this is quite a good slot and i feel like people might move around a bit <laughs> and take the slot which is cool you know i'm out take it but if i'm coming back i'm taking my slot back <laughs> just saying um will your private photo still come <laughs> will your private photo still come through Will your private photos still come through? Yeah, they're still coming through. Jackie's like, nope, this is flat cap time. I'm not watching it. Nope, turn the telly off. I'm not watching anything else. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. It's flat cap Fridays. It will be for life. No, seriously though, if I, if I ever want to do stream, I'm just going to go live at 9.15, right? But I don't care who's streaming. This is my time. <laughs> this is our time. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, what other... What other um, Oh, what's... Is there ever going to be any good vape stuff out? I look right. I look left. <sighs> Nothing. Crap. Mm, no. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Sponsored by Derek's Farm Store. For all your farm store needs. Lazy Sue's Saunas. The best in dry or wet heat sessions. PG, the BGs but covered in vegetable glycerin. PG, the VG tribute band. Deirdre's massages. Nano does it best. And finally, Bob's sausage house. Always firm, always tasty. Always firm and always tasty. <laughs> oh dear. Who's been a cock this week? That was a good one. I wish. This is that's why I'm going to miss the show at the minute because that's been one of my favourite categories, and and I think my favourite I've still got it saved in here was this guy. I smoke a lot less now, about five, maybe six cigarettes a day. As soon as I get in, I mean, I smoke a lot less. And then he said that thing, didn't he? So that's the capacity of your lungs. Uh, you are a bit lower than someone in the same age that do not smoke or vape. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, are, uh, you are a bit lower compared to them. Studies have shown that lung function can be impaired because of vaping. So that could be a real... So but, that's the cap but he still smokes. What a knob. Honestly, it winds me up now. Where's that rant, Where's that rant bumper? <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do a race. I didn't put anything on the Facebook group about the race. I'd like to invite you all to do an X1. Uh, hopefully I get you all. We'll do a race. It'll be the first race will be uh for some kind of out of stack budget. Alright? We'll talk about it. <laughs> um and we'll do we'll do that and then after that we'll do a duck race for the wonderful Shy Tots. But first for the last time this wonderful bumper. Now where did I put my bottle of a mouth? In? Maybe I'll put it in the seat. Over there? No, um, I think it's this way. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go this way and have a little look. Oh, no, my Britannia Custard's over... No, um, I think it's over this way. No, no, it's over there. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> right, Penguin Races. We're going to type everyone's names in, then I'm going to forget to copy them for the shy tops. Whoa! Ah, oh, that's better. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes, so if you're watching the replay, you can fast forward this bit. <laughs> Oh, who's ringing me? Yeah, something like that. Mrs. Flatcup said £30 Natty Stack. It's going to be somewhere around those marks, which is pretty much going to get you everything from the Natty Stack range. Um, but that's cool. Right. I should have done this before. This is a stupid way of doing it. But no, I wanted to do the people that are watching to do this race. So we're going to SVR. Right, if I miss your name, just wait until I say, is that everyone, okay? And then tell me, no, you missed me, okay? Don't don't start typing it now, because there's loads of people to type in. Um, hack. Stu Valentine. I'm having to head G. I'm going to spell your names wrong. Faxi. Oh. Hello. Hello? 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 
What's up, Andy? Oh! <laughs> you getting an echo? <laughs> Can you put me in the race? <laughs> Get lost! <laughs> put the next one, Andy! <laughs> that was Andy, by the way. Andy Wilkins. <laughs> What's what? <laughs> oh, Ben M. That was funny. Uh, I've done Darcy already. Darcy, don't spam X laid back LBVS. Oh dear, you put me right off, Andy. SG. <laughs> Lizzie. Can you put me in the race? Jackie. Mark Hawes. Mark H has got to be here. I'm putting him in already. I know he's here. Jackie, Lizzie. And you, Andy, you'd already put X1. Andy Wilk. How'd you like that? <laughs> Sean, don't, he's ringing me <laughs> Oh, you hung up. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't give him my number out. <laughs> that was, that was Ian from my back show. Stop ringing me. Uh, where was I? I've lost my list. <laughs> Ian's trolling me. Um, Sean, sh where's Sean gone? Sean's there, Paul Ryan. <laughs> oh see this is why we feel so bad guys this is so funny i don't know if you lot are finding it funny i'm looking at x1s in a minute i don't know what you lot are typing nikki maynard i should have done this another way because this is too long um see this is another thing when i first started this i've done darcy already darcy is that you again spamming yes darcy damn you um craig chambers when i first started this show you know, we might have had 20, done Mark H, Thomas. We might have had 20 or 30 entries, but that was about it. And then we are vaping. I don't know where you're from in the world, but we are vaping is in. Now it's like, on a, on a normal week, it's like 67. <laughs> Stop ringing me. <laughs> Someone's ringing me. Now it's just like, Shrekking out. Well, you know Shrek, you're not going in twice. Um, We're not there yet. Grim Shady. Yeah, now it's like 60 or 70 race entries and it's just too many. Uh, Lizzie. Ligio X, you two are in. you got to be in. Dwayne? Dwayne Pet is in. Everyone's jumping out of the woodwork. Hello, Gecko. Hello, Dwayne. Uh, Alex, how you doing, Alex? Where did Alex Beer come from? Craig Brown. Oh, Stuart, you shouldn't have. I've not put Cicero in yet. Cicero and Stuart, you're both in now. There we go. Right. Sam. Digby's. Okay. Ian Bamforth. Ian. Ian Bam. Sorry, Ian. Cicero's in, isn't it? Cicero's in. Yeah. Okay. Stuart, you're up. Fill up the list. Jane. Jane. Jane Dord. John. Paul Glasgow. Okay. Oh, is that... That's... Oh, another Stuart. Oh, Stuart Stuart. Stuart Stuart. How you doing, Stuart Stuart? Right, is that everyone? Bus... Oh, Jack H. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, we're getting near the end of it now. <laughs> Zombie. Thank you. Uh, got a hedgy? I got a hedgy, didn't I? Yeah, I got a hedgy. Sorry, Martin. Thank you. We've got Martin in there. Oh, guys, those battery doors, I, I just said, would they make a good stopgap method until you've learned to create it? Yes, Metal Vape. Metal Vape. I, I put Metal Vape in there. I appreciated that video with them little battery doors. That was really, really cool. Thank you. Just Josh. Yes, of course, Just Josh. Wonderful. Just Josh is amazing. I got I got you, Martin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to miss... Uh, I'm not going to miss Just Josh because... Thanks, Shrek, because I'm going to be around still. You're already in. Oh, okay. Thanks, Metal Vape. I'll take you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we do this race? Hack. Yeah, thanks. A anyone else? Last call. Is Hack in? Yeah, I did Hack near the start, didn't I? Yeah, I did put Hack already. Damn it. Andy Wilkerson. Thank you, Lizzie. Dion78. Oh, sorry, Dion. Got you in there. I, yeah, but I, I checked the list, but I... Oh. I've got to change my ringtone. Yes, Andy? Don't forget Gemma. Oh, got Pajemma in her own race. Yeah, we'll do. Oh, got Pajemma in her own race. Yeah, okay, the echoes. Do it, maiden. Bye. Bye.
Bye, I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll add Mrs. Flatcap. Mrs. Flatcap wins an attic stack. I'm well annoyed. Zombie's in there twice. He is in there twice. Zombie. Cheeky zombie. Okay. Arif. 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 Yeah, of course, Arif. Here you are. Sorry, Arif. Uh, that isn't annoying at all, is it, Ben? No. Have I put Ben M? Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. You're seventh, Ben M. And you have to deal with it. I've got Chris and Lee, your X. Okay, I think that's it. If you're not in now, it's too late. Okay. Two minute penguin race. I hate the bloody penguins. I hate them. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but. <laughs> Uh, Rajan, yeah, is he still away? So we've got to put Rajan in, and I'm also going to copy this list. So I've got it for the uh, Shy Tots race. So let's do that now. Do, 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 do. Copy. There you go. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Um, this is for approximately <laughs> thirty-ish pounds worth of Atty stack, and if you win. Just go on the Vaping Star website, click through what you like, add it to your basket, see what the total is. If it's around the 30 quid mark, I'm sure we'll make it happen. All right? Yeah, that sounds good. Good luck, everyone. Three, two, one, let's go. The music sucks. A few hours later. <laughs> it's so boring. That's better. Seconds left. Hey, Faxi and Lee Jux are doing well for a while, but Faxi has stopped and Chris has gone to sleep. <laughs> oh, Gecko's been up there a lot of the time. Mark Smith is slowed down. John Paul G's in the lead at the minute. Arif catching up. Martin Saunders. Stuart Stewart's there. Z Zombies getting closer. We've got eight, seven, six, five. No way. Oh. Cicero with the cheeky little, the cheeky Cicero for the for the win, which really annoying because that's America. <laughs> that's America. I got to post stuff to America. <laughs> well done, Cicero. <laughs> Where did he come from? Well done, Cicero. Unlucky Stuart Valentine. Ah, oh, where's everyone else came along in that race then? Mine Saunders, close second. Thomas Douglas, nearly got a second at his stack, mate. <laughs> uh, it's about a tenner. It's about a tenner to send to... to um... So now Cicero's only got a £20 budget. <laughs> uh, it does... It always goes bloody international, Ben. It's stupid. Zombie, you were close there. Fourth, mate. Stuart Stewart, Arif, SG, Nicky, Sean, John, Hedgy, Stuart Valentine, 12th, Jackie, Faxi, Alex... Sorry, Alex. I just destroyed your second name. Hack. Andy. God, take some breath in. Jack H. Mrs. Flackout, Metal Vapes. Just Josh, Shrek, Craig, Dion, Jane, Rajan, Gekken. Gekken? Gekken. That's like crossbeam Gecko. Don't be silly, Cicero. Mark Smith, Darcy, Lizzie, Ben, Lizzie. Lizzie, you got two race entries. Cheeky 
Mark H, Grim, Craig, Chambers, Mark, Sam, Lizio, Lizio X, J Jane again. J Jane was in there twice as well. <laughs> Layback Vape Show, Dwa Drain, sorry, Drain. It's meant to be Dwayne. Paul, we are open an Ian Bam. Because you're special. Right, let's go back then to... Um, uh, let's go way back. Let's go... Here we go. Here we go. Uh, ducks, right? Ducks Ducks for the wonderful Shy Tots. Where, did I go? I just scrolled past the ducks, didn't I? There we go. Ducks. Jane's going to be getting into a race twice. Squirrels. Should have been squirrels. I'm going to keep Jane and Lizzie in twice. Stuff it. And Cicero's in there. And the American ones. Do you want colours and costumes? Or yellow only? Or colours only? I like the costumes. Two minutes. You won't, Stuart, I'm afraid. Um, this is for a wonderful... Um, the wonderful sponsors from Shy Tots. Jane will be at Expo... Go and check out some Shy Tots. Please buy some Shy Tots. Please enjoy Shy Tots. <laughs> shy Tots is great stuff. And Jane's a wonderful lady. She's a superstar in the vape, ste vape scene. So please support, obviously, please support all any sponsors of this stream. They, they've been awesome to this channel. They've been awesome to me. And they've been awesome to, awesome to all the winners throughout the months and years. So, yeah, if you, if you fancy some e-liquids but you just don't want the same old nosh. Nosh? <laughs> same old nosh? Tosh? Same old rubbish. Get yourself some Shy Tots. And some Legio X. And some Digby's. And check out Dispergo, who, been, who were sponsors of this channel for a long, long time. Dispergo are awesome. And obviously Darkstar. And who else? Anyone. <laughs> Get what you like. What do I know? What do I know? I'm a retired vape reviewer. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go! Oh, this is no good. We need different music. What's this one? What is this one? What, does it even work? That song doesn't work. That's no good. Okay, what about this one? Oh, wait, I know why it doesn't work. I'm not pressing the right buttons. Wait, let's try this. Oh, that's awful. No, we don't want that. We want this one! Do the FCV safe. Do, 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 do. Do the FCV safe. 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 That song's not long enough. <laughs> Can you hear the ducks? They're going wah. There's no music with the ducks. They're just on a peaceful river. Everyone's all bunched up at the minute. We've got 43 seconds left to go in. Everyone's just bunched up. Jane is a pink duck. Jackie is a purple one. Lizzie is also a purple one. How does this race know that the male and females are in different colours? That's freaky. Shrek's green. Shrek's a green duck. Wouldn't you know it? For the people who's not sure about their yellow, like Hack and Mark H, not sure which way they go. Pass me the shotgun. We've got 16 seconds. Just Josh has a strong lead. 10 seconds left to go. Dion 78 and Josh. Oh, Dion has just dipped. He's got, nah, I'm not even on this. But the race is changing. Jackie's taking a lead, but no, not for long as Mark Smith has taken a strong lead. But Lizzie's going to catch up. And it looks like it's going to be Lizzie in first place. There, no, that race felt a lot quicker than them bloody penguins. Lizzie, you're the winner. Woo! Lizzie gets some shy touch. Go, Lizzie. Hey. Lizzie. Do you know what, right? I don't know what Lizzie's going to say here. Don't piff it, Lizzie. You, you, your wonderful husband makes some wonderful wee liquids. Shut up, ducks. Go. Oh, what have I done? No, I don't want to race again. No! Oof. But you should have some other e liquids sometimes, Lizzie. You should try other people's e liquids. <laughs> Yeah? yeah, I'm sure you have tried some shy tots. But anyway, Lizzie, Hedgie, Mark, Andy, Mark, Hack, Jane, Craig, Mark again, Sean, Alex, Metal Vape, SG, John, Stuart Valentine, 15th, Grim, Faxi, Nikki, J 
Josh, Ian, Mrs. Vagab, Dwayne, Jackie, Craig, Shrek, Rajan, Gecko, Cicero. Stuart, you've efficiently won the last race against Cicero. Uh, Jack, Martin, Jane, Lidio X, Thomas, Labo Ratio, Darcy, Paul, Zombies, Dion, Lizzie again. So you might not have won if it wasn't for the second injury. Ben, unlucky Ben. We are vaping Sam, Stuart and Arif. Don't care. Oh, Stuart. Oh, I'm sorry, Stuart. Just, oh. just what... <laughs> that, that's like a regular thing, isn't it? <laughs> Every show, I forget to uncheck the bumper. So when I go back to this screen, it just plays all the bumpers. Um, speaking of bumpers, no, I think we're kind of done with bumpers. <laughs> Stupid duck. <laughs> There's a the duck for you. I should have just changed that one and made it like a shy tots one. I'm just not. Oh, I love a good bargain, but something else. There's so many tabs on this my Streamlabs. I could click on, but I don't know what any of it is. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's an old flat cave bumper. It's stuff I haven't deleted. Shy tops. Oh, that's the logo down there. Honestly, there's so many things. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I think I think that is it. I think that is it for this evening. Um, I could have I could have quite easily sat here for two hours, telling you stories about my time in the vape scene and this person and that person and I, I half of me wanted to because half of me wanted to thank so many people throughout the last five years who have supported me and the channel and the facebook and the discord and all that kind of stuff um but i, I don't know it's just one of those things it's just it would be long and i don't want things to be boring and i certainly don't want to leave on like a sad note because i do feel like there's still a future for me in the community for sure in some way shape or form so i, I don't i don't I, I can't I check my messages I don't want to just completely close the door on this maybe leaving it a bit open is a bad idea but I don't want to completely shut the door I've had a few messages um <laughs> okay I've got to share this thanks Andy I've had a few messages throughout the last week or so people saying don't don't give up don't stop you know you 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 know you're this you're that and whatever which has been really nice thanks Andy for this um <laughs> so I don't want to close the door on it, but I just can't. Oh dear, I've messed up now. I just can't. Well, it's gone all wrong. It's disappeared. There it is. There he is, happy as ever. <laughs> yeah, right now I just can't really commit the time, and I don't really want to commit the time to reviewing and stuff. I'm going to miss the flat the flat cap Fridays. I really am going to miss doing it every Fridays. I've just got to be available for when I need to be available for things. And I don't want to book sh book streams and then cancel them last minute all the time. It's so... And it's not, I'm sure it's annoying for you because you see the stream's going to happen. You're like, great, that'll be cool. The Larry Live, yeah, I do want to get a Larry cam going. you know, And I don't want to cancel these, these shows last minute. And I just feel horrible about that. Especially if I'd planned things during the week. If I'd been checking out news, taking screenshots of new things that are coming out, news articles, planning what I'm talking about for that week, doing race entries, doing posters, thumbnails, all that, and then cancelling. So I didn't want it to get to that stage. I just felt eventually I'd end up closing the channel anyway. So that's kind of it for now. There are going to be a couple of videos out in the next week or two. Some reviews, some video bits, some Vapor SO things, amazing enough. A couple of e-liquid reviews. The Lunar RDA from the, the Legio X Special Edition one, which is really, really cool. So those videos will be coming out in the next kind of week or two. Um, but just thank you, all of you. Genuinely, you all, I, I'm sure in one way, shape or form, I've spoken to each of you uh, either at Expos or on Discord or on Facebook and obviously here on a Friday evening. And all your names, everyone is in it right now. I know you I know you all in one way, shape, or form. It's really, really nice. So I hopefully I get to meet or see a lot of you at Expo. We can have a chat, have a drink. Um and uh yeah, just thank you for everything. Every everyone who's watching this, if you're watching the replay as well, thank you for all your support, watching the replays and commenting on the hundreds of videos that have been on this channel. Uh, to all casters and reviewers that have supported me in the past, thank you so much. All the manufacturers, vendors, and particularly the small e-liquid brands throughout the years that have helped me more really recently in the last kind of year or two mainly the sponsors of the show but others as well um they're, they're never just sending you stuff to review they're 
they're they're watching your videos they're commenting they're sharing your content they're putting it on their own website proper like proper support and that has gone a really long way uh, for me with just uh, just how i felt about vaping how i felt about the channel it's it just it meant a lot more than when you do a review for flipping voopoo and they don't do nothing with it you know well what's the point and that was disheartening but to get you know the the support from local uk brands was just really really cool what now who's messaging me now sorry i'm making you sad <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna call it night genuinely thank you everyone I wish you all the best. I'm still going to be around. The Discord is going to stay open for now. The Flat Cave group will probably shut in the future when I've got the balls to shut it down. The Discord will stay open. I'm sorry I've been a bit quiet there recently. I've just kind of been a bit miserable. But yeah. Hope to bump into you soon. Uh, hopefully I have some cool things for you in the future with mods and stuff like that. Just a new chapter. A new chapter for me. A new chapter in my life. And yeah, I just wish you all the best. And thank you, all of you, for everything over the years. It's been been a great ride. I'm, it's weird that it's ending. It is weird. But yeah, thank you, everyone. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. In some way, shape or form. Oh, what do I do now? What do I normally do now? Oh, I'll go. I know what I do, Jackie. Yeah, it's that time. Oh, and I'll try and remember to put a bumper video across, including this one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Thank you, guys and girls. So, a dyslexic man walks into a bra. <laughs> That's a really mean one, but it cracks me up when I heard it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know people suffer with, with dyslexia. I, I know I've got a few friends who do. But that joke just... <laughs> oh, the first time I heard it, I wasn't told it. I was sort it was written down and it proper caught me out. I just didn't... I, maybe I'm dyslexic because the B and the R and the, and the A is just... And it was like, what? <laughs> oh... Oh dear. Well, he's messaging me. <laughs> oh, the the phone call from Andy Wilkinson. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> oh dear. The <laughs> roses are red, violets are blue. I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. <laughs> oh dear. Gold Shrek has a classic. That one. I haven't got any stories for you, really. How or have I? Have I got any stories for you? No, I did see a car accident earlier though. No, I'm not, this isn't a joke. Uh, I, I was in the corner of my eye. I was going over a roundabout. Bear in mind, there's about a billion roundabouts where I live. I was about to go over a roundabout, and in the corner of my eye, I just see this lorry on the other side of the road going across the roundabout, and it just stopped suddenly. 
The next thing I know, I heard crash. You know, that horrible car crunching sound. And this little green Fiesta had slammed right into the back of this big lorry. And just stopped all the traffic. But just down the road was an ambulance trying to get through. And <laughs> the ambulance was trying to squeeze past. And the lorry just sat there, parked up. This little Fiesta was like basically smashed underneath the lorry. I was like, oh, my days. Yeah, they didn't go round. The lorry, the lorry just went across the roundabout, basically. <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. Uh, yes, Mark Hawes. <laughs> Mark Hawes, I'm sorry, it is. Mark Hawes is waiting for a gift. So is Simple Vape. Simple Vape is waiting for a parcel. And so is Mark Hawes. And I think that's my list done. Um, that yeah, I I think everyone else has been covered now. There's just been a few people who have to wait a little bit longer. Mark Hawes, I haven't forgotten, my friend. I'm sorry, mate. Sean, I'll chase them up, mate. I'll see what's going on. Um, there's nothing wrong with my area, SG. <laughs> just a lot of roundabouts. <laughs> oh, a little, little Larry update. Larry is growing. His, his ears are still floppy. He's still got floppy ears. But he's getting bigger. Uh, but he still looks cute and he's still super soft. And... Oh, I have got a story to tell you. You sent me a message on Discord. Okay, Hedgy, I'll do I have to check that out now. Uh, simple vape, leave it with me. Um, so, for those that don't know, that's my cat, Shadow. Shadow's a wonderful cat. Okay, and that's our new rabbit, Larry. Right? <laughs> this is really bad. A couple of nights ago, um, a couple of nights ago, we, we let Larry out. Larry's out now in the garden most, pretty much, not all day, but a lot of the days, or if not, when I get home, I let him out. He's, he's running around the garden all afternoon, late into the evening. I got in a bit of a habit of trying to get him back in his hutch by like 7, 8 o'clock, because otherwise it was getting dark, I couldn't see him, I'm chasing him around the bloody garden, he's not going in his hutch. It was getting a bit... Who's messing me now? It was getting a bit annoying. It was getting a bit annoying. No, I have not been... Uh, Larry, <laughs> yeah. Um... It was getting a bit annoying. One night, I, I completely forgot he was out. I just completely forgot Larry was out. And it was about 10 o'clock at night. And I think Mrs. Flatcup said, Guys, you need to get him back in his hutch. Oh, okay. It's raining, right? It's raining. And I'm running around the garden trying to pick him up. And I'm trying to, like, tactically trap him in a corner. But I'm not. I mean, for goodness sakes, I'm overweight and I'm six foot five. It's, I'm, not, I'm not very agile, okay? I'm not, I'm not very agile. I'm chasing him around. Eventually, I get him. I get him. He's soaking wet. He is wet all the way through. So, but I just pick him up carefully and with love and care and attention. And I gently place him back into his hutch. I put him in his hutch. And I said, get in there, you little bloody sod. Anyway, in he goes, shut the door. No night. Go to bed. Get up the next morning. Get ready for work. Blah, 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 blah. Go to work. Have the day at work. Come back. Whatever time is. By about half past five in the evening. I all of a sudden thought, uh, oh, you ruined the story, Ben. Yeah, I was on the thought, I haven't seen the cat in a while. I haven't seen Shadow. <laughs> you all knew. Yeah, so we searched the house for the cat. And then eventually I thought, John, I'm going to let Larry out. So I let Larry out. And as I opened the door, this cat popped out of the hutch. <laughs> She'd been in there from 10 o'clock the previous night. So she must have been laying in there. When I shut the rabbit in and then didn't meow once until I opened Larry's door and then was like, oh, yeah, I'm eating here. Roasting hot because it was a sunny day. There's this poor cat lay covered in straw and hay <laughs> inside the cat, inside the rabbit's hutch. Stupid thing. Oh, dear. Larry, Larry and Shadow were friends. They were spooning. <laughs> they were spooning. Shadow, get, Shadow and the rabbit get on. Yeah, they're friends. Shadow the cat will quite often sit on top of Larry's hutch. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a regular thing with the cat. Bringing home mice and stuff. Yeah, not so regular anymore. She's ageing a bit now. But yeah, she's, you know, she's... Uh... But Larry's funny. Yeah, Larry's... F I do need to set up a Larry cam. He needs an upgraded hutch, actually. Because the hutch we got him is more of a temporary thing. So, but that's another story. That's another evening of me building stuff, isn't it? 
Oh, I'm going to miss this lurking thing. Who's who's lurking with me? 35 of you. Who's been talking? The one rule about this bloody thing lurking. You know the one rule. And 35 of you have been talking. 3D printer rabbit. That would be cool. That would be cool. I think everyone that was watching the stream is in here. <laughs> this hasn't worked. This was meant to be an exclusive. <laughs> now everyone's just hanging on. Have you guys not, not got not? Have you guys not got better things to be doing at eleven o'clock on a Friday night? <laughs> oh dear, I don't. To be honest, I don't know what we're doing on a Friday night. Someone has spoke about it, Jackie. Yeah, I don't know who it was. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I'd like to say, guys, I genuinely, I do feel a bit bad about it, all this. I do feel bad about stopping the streams and the and the ch the channel and all that kind of thing. I do feel a bit bad because I do enjoy it. I do still love vaping. I still, I'm still obsessed with mods and tanks and e liquids and and all that kind of stuff. You know, I do still really enjoy it. It's not like I fell out of love with vaping. I just, just see it at that kind of. It's at that point, you know. It is hard to let go. Yeah, you know, and, and I've, I've said before, I said it on the thing the other week, it's that self-gratification of it all. It's really, it's a good confidence booster. And I know it's selfish to say it. Filament Fridays, yeah. I know it's selfish to say it, but when you when you release a video and then you get nice comments, oh, this is you know, a great video, I really appreciate it. Makes you feel good. When you do a, a Friday stream and you lot are in there going, oh, you know, the, the great show, Gaz, thanks so much. It makes me feel good. It does all nice things. It's all, you know, it's all nice feelings. And so I'm going to miss that. What I'm going to have to get Mrs. Flatcaps going to say more nice things about me. The Lizzie and Larry show. Um, yeah, it, so, you know, those those things are hard to let go of. Um, just that time. It's just that, just been, just got to that, that point. And I really want to be around for Gem now. Uh, more than, I literally, every, and I, I, I go in my man cave most nights, I come out here. And that, Gemma don't mind. She's watching the telly. She knows I don't want to watch what she's watching. So, um, Larry, Larry's in bed already, or he's already in his hutch. I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> um, you know, Gem's fine. She's, she's cool. But I just don't want her to feel like, if she needs to go to see her parents her dad for any reason i don't want her to feel like she can't just go at any time any evening you know so yeah you're gonna drink more shrek yeah yeah good idea mark yeah i i, I have um a few bits and bobs i want to do still and obviously with this mod making journey now, it's it's likely that there will be bits and bobs on this channel for sure. Just different. Still vapey. I would never be one of them to change the channel into something else and just keep it on this channel. Because this is a vaping channel and that's what it always will be. But it might now be more down the product line, which would be cool. It would be fun. But no, it's been great. It's been great five years. It really, really has. It really has been been a great five years. I can't complain. I've met some wonderful people. Tried so many cool mods and tanks and drippers and e-liquids and everything. And about a billion pods. I got like boxes of mods that I didn't pay for. And how cool is that? Now it's really selfish, but it's it's fact. You know, got boxes of mods and tanks that I didn't have to pay for that I got sent for free to try out and enjoy. And all I had to do was a pokey little video. You know, that's pretty awesome. I, d I don't care that I'm bloating about it, saying, oh, look at me, look at him, Wolf Lack, have you said you got the... It was true, it's a fact, you know. Yeah, I had to do a little video for it, but it's not the end of the world. Just flat cap rabbit hunter. <laughs> oh, can you just see little boxes? Sorry, do you want a picture? Uh, what's this one? The home of Flat Cap Fridays and Potter. Oh, and three times second place East Click Award winner. <laughs> oh, it was that point in this channel where I got to like, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to do what I want. Like, I tried to be all pro for a while, doing everything the proper way and all nicely and nice. And eventually I was like, no, nah, do you know what? Stuff it. I'm just going to do me. <laughs> I don't have to impress anyone anymore. And I started slating people. Do you know what? I think it happened three years ago with the Axon Chip song for Vaporesso. <laughs> You're welcome, Shrek. <clears throat> Keep the cave alive until the member con 
Con- member content drops. Well, I might do. Yes, simple vape. What? Um, stackable hutches for multiple. A stackable rabbit hutch system. <laughs> Do you know what you say, Hedgy? I've been looking at this giant 3D printer, but if Mrs. Flatcap finds out about it, then I'm dead. I keep looking at one. It's huge. I could do some real big 3D printed stuff. Yeah. Product line or one-off. Look what's being released. Yeah, those kind of things. Yeah, might be a few 3D printed time lapses. Yeah. No, not yet. Simple vape. Not yet, my friend. Right, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to leave you to it. I need a Wii. 8 by 21 700 mega mod. You still going to come pick me up from HP and P. Widow when I get locked up again because I always go... <laughs> Don't get locked up again, Faxi. But if you're in Widow, you let me know, mate. <laughs> uh, safe, Andy. We'll send you absolute superstar. We'll be, I'll be in touch, Andy. I really, really, really want to send you a box of goodies. It's about bloody time, mate. So we'll, we'll catch up very soon. Thank you, everyone. You absolutely stars. Really appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, I'll speak. I'll speak to you soon. See, see some of your expo. See you in chat. In other chats. In other chats on other live streams. That'd be fun. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. See you soon. Bye bye. Larry, say bye. <laughs> Safe, everyone. <laughs>